John, Aaron, together we are Rum DNC. Making a tiki classic today. Mai Tai. Yep, Mai Tai. Alright, this is our version of the Mai Tai. It is semi close to the, the original or the so called original. The problem with the Mai Tai is there's so many different variations or so many people saying they have the original recipe or it's this or it's that and you know people using different type of juices like f like nothing that's lime but like more like guava pineapple like um grenadines yeah. and grenadine none of that stuff is in the Mai Tai. Mai Tai is very simple it is very elegant and it's based off of good rum or jot and Orange curacao. We're not using orange curacao. We're actually using Creole shrub, which it's a little spicier. But this is still sweet, orangey. It fits that role very well. All right. So you know, first off, we have the Appleton. This is we're using the Reserve. Then Florida Cana Four Year. Um, we're basically just doing mostly Appleton ounce and a half, and then we're gonna fill it out with a half ounce of the Florida Cana. Orjot. Almond syrup. And then, like we were explaining, the Creole shrub orange liqueur. We have a lime. Fresh. Some fresh lime. Then we have mint, fresh mint, for garnish. Um, a knife. Um, cutting board. Cutting board, reamer, and, very important, a nice crusher. This drink is built on crushed ice. Yes. If you don't have an ice crusher, you can buy crushed ice or some or fridges make it. what you can yeah. do is actually, this is a very simple trick, you can actually get a bag or even like a uh, kitchen one, towel, a kitchen towel get, wrap your ice around that, take a hammer and actually start smashing it. Yeah. It's a very classic way of doing it. Yeah. We've also got shaker and strainer, mixing glass, measuring cup, and we'll be serving this in a rocks glass. What do you say? Let's I make an old fashioned Mai Tai. I think we need to make a old fashioned hot mai tai. Alright. It's a good idea to uh, roll your limes kind of hard. It helps loosen up the juices inside. So, got my nice little assembly line here. We're gonna slice our lime in half. So during the process of filming we realized that our reamer was not big enough so we have upgraded. So, take your lime, put it in the reamer, and we are looking for a full ounce of lime juice. There's about a half. So we're gonna grab our other half of the lime. And that is an ounce of lime juice. And into the mixing glass. All right. We're doing half an ounce of orgeat. This is a little different. Usually it's a quarter ounce, but we're upping it because we're not using um, rock candy or um, simple syrup. All right, folks, and then we're doing a quarter ounce of the orange liqueur, normally a curacao. We're using this Creole shrub. Alright, so next the rums. What we're going to do is half an ounce of the Flor de Cagne four year. Alright, and then I'm actually going to put another ounce and a half of Reserve Appleton. So we're going to get two ounces all together. Alright, and then that goes in. Alright folks, so we're going to add our uh, crushed ice in here. Cap it and give it a nice shake. All right, nice and frosty right there. All right, so to finish off the drink, we're just gonna dump sink right in. We're gonna sprink the mint. Sprink it. Maybe a couple times. Alright. Like that. And then we're gonna use 
the other half the lime and we're just gonna go like that so it's you know looks like a little paradise little paradise you know have a little nap you know you know watch some hula girls you know it's all good the hula girls are on this side of the island I have yeah. decided it and I'm right near the tree you know just watching you know proving yes hula girls yes like we said Tiki Classic this is edging towards the more original side of a Mai Tai. It's by no means the original recipe. No. It's also not throwing in a bunch of extra fruit juices that don't belong in a Mai Tai, um, or grenadine, or, you know. None of that. This is nice, simple, standard crushed ice, rum, or ja, orange curacao, lime juice. And, I mean, the different type of rums you can use, it can, it's... It's, it's going to vastly yeah. differentiate the flavor. Yeah, I mean, like, we use the clear and a um, and a gold. And most times people usually blend a gold and a gold. Like, you know, more yeah. like a 12-year, stuff like that. Yeah. Or, like, something a little funkier, like a Smith & Cross. Yeah. But, we did um, the Appleton, which does have a little bit of that funk. It's not a Ray & Nephew or Smith & Cross, but it's definitely that yeah. style. And it definitely comes through, but it's a little more balanced in this one. Yes, this is a very, it, th like I said, this is our recipe. This is the, the Mai Tais that we drink right now. So far. Yeah. Our, our recipe may change. Yes. Know? All that aside, this drink is delicious, first off. Second, subscribe. It's over there. This direction. Yeah, his tassels, our, our tassels are, are pointing to subscribe. Boop, boop, boop. Also, Facebook and Twitter below. And we'll see you around. Drive safe, drink responsibly, and uh, cheers. Enjoy a hula girl. That was easy. Easy! So the important thing is, we whip our tassels back and forth. Helicopter tassel. Helicopter tassel. <laughs>